Hey, what's going on guys? Alex with NBC 11 Alive, Team 1-1, Born to Compete. I got my guy, Coach Clark, and I'm bringing him here because we are asking a very serious question. Email came in, and here's the question. Okay. Are high school coaches responsible for their players' recruiting? A thousand percent. Wow. A thousand percent. Coach. A thousand percent. Go ahead. Carry on. I've been doing it a while, and I had yeah. to break it down. But it is a thousand percent a high school coach's responsibility. Um, they have they have the responsibility of giving the knowledge. Mm. The parents and kids sit at home all day. They're inspired. They see it on TV. They want to go. They just don't know what direction to go. And so it's just been taboo a long time not to ask a high school coach about recruiting because they think you're going to tell you focus on what we got going on mm. here, which is fine. Mm. But if you want your player to come to workouts, mm -hmm. structure, discipline, do they work, mm -hmm. come out there on that football field, come in the weight room, um, study hall, whatever you have at your school. So what is it hard for you to help them get recruited? But the reason that they don't is because most of them don't even know. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm, I'm with you on that. Here's what I will say to that, right? Okay. Are high school coaches responsible? In your opinion, yes, I understand where you're coming from. Here's my, my pushback on that. When you deal with high school coaches and you're a coach, you have a family, you you have many hours that you have to coach. For some, they have to teach. There's different things they have to do, right? And so I'm going to take it out of the coach's hand. I'm going to put it more in the parent's hand. Okay. Because one thing that I do know is one day the bill comes due, as they say. And the kid is going to be 18, 17 years old, graduating from high school. And if it does or doesn't work out, that child is still up under the responsibility of that parent. Correct. So that is why I would say the responsibility lies on the parent, right? So you need to be the ones to pursuing the dream as the parent because mm -hmm. the coach is going to be at school next year. His job is secure, Correct. right? We don't know your child, 18, 17, 18 years old, what his next stop is going to be. So as a parent, you need to be all 100% involved. That's why people give me a hard time to say, am I in agreement with helicopter parents? I am. Mm. I am. I wow. one ho Hover, float around, do whatever you need to do. Because at the end of the day, like I always say, the bill comes due and it comes due for that parent. The worst thing I think, in my opinion, you can do as a parent is your kids 25, 30 years old, 40 years old, whatever. The conversation is going to come up. Mom, dad. Why couldn't you do enough more or do more for me to get me in the position to pursue my dreams? The conversation will come up somehow, some way in an argument, maybe having too many Coca-Cola, right. whatever it might be. The conversation will come up. So that is why I always say, parents, there's so much information out there that they can do it as a team, as a family to move forward. What's your thoughts on that? Totally wrong. Totally wrong. All totally right. wrong. If you don't know anything about the process as a parent, as a player, how can you say the parent has to go out and find it? If they go out and knock on every college door, but they don't know what they're going to knock on the door for, and they don't know the questions to ask, they just out there. Mm -hmm. And you're saying before you even get to the college, it goes back to all the stuff you got to do before you get to the college. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think the responsibility falls on the coaches because we come in contact so much. And I would say years ago, 10, I, I thought the same thing too. Because mm. that's what I was just, everything was just known to go in order. Um, but it's not like that. The cop, the high school coaches have to be responsible to give the knowledge and share the process with the parents. It's not all on the high school coach. It's just the process to help and guide. So when they have questions, they believe in their coach. Mm -hmm. Because you will have one day some high school kids. You just said the question's going to come back up. Mom and Dad, why you didn't do me? Yeah. But you know the biggest question who they going to ask that to? Coach. High school coach. But, so, wait, and I'm glad you said that. I got plenty of examples I'm for glad, that. I'm glad. Yes. And everybody always comes back and say, oh, well, the coach didn't do enough to help my child get recruited. That may be true. Mm -hmm. That may be wrong. It has to be the parent's responsibility because the parent is going to be the one with the, with the child when the tears start to come, when the disappointment starts to come. The coach ain't got to answer his phone no more. Here, here's but one the conversation is going to happen at the barbecue grill because I've it, had it will. Of former it will. players it say, will. Coach, 
even after I left a certain school uh -huh. and we signed those 29 guys, uh -huh. from 2009 down, hmm? they called him coach. Why y'all didn't do that when we was there? Can I ask you one question? Oh, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm going to let you have a response to it because I don't want to do you like that. No, open it up. The state championship is when? December, right? Right. We have this, right? Go ahead. Signing day is, and we'll just go off the regular signing day, not early signing period. Signing day is February, February right? Early February, right? Mm -hmm. When does conditioning start back for the high school players? Martin Luther King weekend. Martin Luther King weekend. So January. you're telling me before the signing period has even happened, these coaches have already moved on to the next season. Nick moved on. Exactly. So that that is why I say, <laughs> I just want to ask you, that is why I say, it is so hard to leave it in the hands of coaches. And to me, in my opinion, you have to leave it in the hands of the parents because those coaches, once they're done with that group, even it could be a state championship group, best group ever that happened, January, late January. 15th is over. It's over. <laughs> Banquet, wrap it up. <laughs> That's so what's the percentage off. you say should be, is it 100% mm. on parent? Mm. Or is it 80%? What do you think the percentage is? In a perfect world, in a perfect world, right? You know, if you're gonna give it to me, perfect. But we know that's not. That's you're not. Saying, in, a, in a perfect world, it'll be fifty-fifty, right? That's and, all and, I'm asking. And, and, but that is a perfect world, and that is not an ideal world. You that's know, the only world. If it's it fifth, we all we all have a little something. So let right? me ask you this then: <laughs> If it's not the coach's responsibility, mm -hmm. and a lot of coaches think this, right? Yeah. You got the last word on this. I'm gonna close it out. Why do coaches, when kids are on a roll getting scholarships, yeah. why do coaches say? Well, they want to be a part of the process. Or, well, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. What are you doing this? Mm -hmm. If it's not that, then put a sign on your door and let's see how many football players come to your school and say, okay. I do everything a great job, but I don't do recruiting. You won't have any football players, baseball players, soccer players, nobody. It just has to be mm -hmm. a um, management thing and a process between the coach and the parents. We mm -hmm. got to work it together. If we don't work it together, because the worst feeling you're going to have as a coach um, now in this day, mm -hmm. my high school coach, Ron Gartrell, didn't have the knowledge in 94. Okay. I was upset, but then as I got older and learned, he just didn't have the knowledge. And that's what it's mainly about. A lot of high school coaches, you say they work all day, mm -hmm. they teach seven classes, mm -hmm. they got to go home to a family, you don't have practice three hours. Mm -hmm. You got to find that time, 30 minutes a day, do a recruiting coordinator to um, facilitate everything. But it's, this has to be a joint effort. If it's not a joint effort, it's hard. I think I finally got him on my side. He said joint effort. So I, I'm, I'm going to say he believes parents should be responsible for that a little bit. By the way, guys, that is my guy, Coach Clark. He is one of the best in the industry when it comes to recruiting. Tell him how to find you on Twitter real quick. Athletic Trust Advisors and Coach Clark 23. Hey, man, you'll be seeing him with us a lot more. Get Coach Tatum a shout-out, too. Coach Tatum going to be up Tatum, here. He's going to be up here eventually as well, man. Guys, make sure you catch us. NBC 11 Live, Team 1-1 one, one with Jeff Hudger and the crew. Of course, Maria and my guy Reg, and then my guy Rick. Hey, man, he's always around. Of course, us, Born to Compete, the number one segment in the country. Take care, guys.